I didn't want to be old and living by myself. I grew up in a fairly moderate household. My dad married a non-Muslim. My upbringing was more westernized than, than a lot of people. I suppose when you are single, you always feel there's some, something is missing in your life. So I always wanted this closeness with someone, someone to share your life with. When I first saw Sotheby's profile, I kept kind of going back to it. And in the end, I just kind of thought, I'm just going to send him a very generic message. Straight up, she introduced herself. Uh, you know, I read her profile and thought, wow. I guess the big thing was for me, so this was a challenge. You know, I respect my dad. To bring something like this to him, it was quite big. Not sure about his reaction. He kept saying to me that he was going to talk to his dad, and then he didn't talk to his dad. So there was a time that we fell out for a little bit. I didn't know what was, what was going on, because she wasn't talking to me, and I kept texting her, and it was really heartbroken, to be honest. And I, I couldn't focus on my work, very distracted. Um, people could tell. I said, well, I'm just going to do it. Let's see what he has to say, you know, because I really like her. And then he then decided to talk to his dad. And this is when he decided to come over. Took the nine hour journey from Texas to London. She was going to come pick me up. She tapped me and said my name. I looked up, and having her hair in a ponytail, wearing a smile from ear to ear. It was nice uh, to finally meet her. And this is why I suppose you go for a Muslim partner. You know, you might have your shortcomings, but there's always that hope that one day you will get there and you need that person, you need that partner actually to help you to get there or who can get there with you. Do you think we would have met if it wasn't for a single Muslim? No, no. Mm. Oh. This was our last will, and single Muslim became our reason to meet.